so something happened today that really made my day. Uh, last video I mentioned how I was going to order up some additional barley. You know, one of the goals I want to do is grow everything and be able to brew up a batch of beer of stuff that's come off our own property. And I was wanted to get some additional American two-row um, barley to be able to grow here. So I put my order in. Uh, we, we order from several different places. Last couple years we've been using Johnny Seed Company. I think the main reason we, be, we selected them originally is because we saw this organic documentary about this farm. That's where they got their seeds from. We, we of course get them from other places locally here, Baker's Creek quite often. Um, one place we've been thinking about is that Michigan Gardener. We just haven't ordered from him. But anyways, so I went and I put my order in and at the very end there's like a additional shipping instructions. So I was checking out, we, we had sort of this ongoing, I don't know if it's a joke or inside thing with our daughter. I th and I think it all spun off the uh, YouTube video that went viral years ago of that kid that was dressed up as a zombie and, and they're interviewing him and he kind of spaces out and he just says I love turtles. Jonathan, you're looking good. Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job. What do you think? I like turtles. So we always kind of joked that we love giraffes. And in that shipping field, I said, oh, why don't you draw a giraffe on the box? And then I wrote, I love turtles. Well, it was like a day or two later and, and the box shows up here and I come home to find that sure enough, with, <laughs> with the little turtle on there. So it's something as simple as that. I mean, the company, you know, obviously that takes a lot more additional time, but they took the time to do that just to make, uh, make me be happy and definitely put a smile on my face. I guess that, that says a lot about their customer care. So so I thought I'd fill you guys in on some of the products that are going on around here. Uh, garden is just about getting ready here to get put in. But before we did that and got everything tilled back in, I wanted to run a little sample test. Our plan here is to move our pigs around our garden each year and basically have them act as a natural uh, fertilizer for our, our garden. However, I was really noticing our, our garden was getting taken over by weeds, except for over by the pig pen area. And I wasn't quite sure whether that was related to them uh, just really tilling things up so much at, in that place, or if something was wrong with the soil. Maybe there was too much nitrogen, there was too much something uh, going on in that soil. So before we kicked off the garden tilling, I wanted to do a soil sample test. store-bought kit, relatively inexpensive to do. Realistically, we probably should have sent something off to a lab, but we already have a kit out there and I just didn't feel like spending another $20, uh, but it would give us so much more information. The store-bought kit only tests uh, four of the basic things, your pH, your soil, your nitrogen, your uh, phosphorus, and your potassium. And it's almost like giving your kid a can of soda at times. Yeah, they probably could survive off of drinking a can of soda, but they're missing out on so many other important vitamins and nutrients. So um, that's kind of all that that type of kit really measures, but it does help you figure out whether you're roughly in the ballpark. It just doesn't give you the minor details. So next year, we'll probably send a test off and get that test a little bit more formally. And the results that came back from the store-bought kit, 
Uh, the nitrogen was just a little on the high side. Everything else was looking pretty good. The soil uh, pH was around 6.5, which was kind of what we're looking for at 6.57 range. So I think the plan here is because it's a little high in nitrogen, it's not too crazy, but we're gonna put some corn in there. The one worry I have is, you know, when you're starting seedlings, corn will be a little bit more touchy to nitrogen uh, than like obviously a full grown stock. Corn's a very heavy nitrogen feeding thing. Even last year we ended up doing an experiment just putting raw chicken manure out there, which is a lot of times can burn your plants. Obviously we didn't put it directly on the plant, but we put it in between the rows and let the rain wash that in. And it really did make a pretty big difference. So we're gonna try to utilize that higher nitrogen content and grow some corn with that. Speaking of corn, the other thing that we just recently put in was some of that dandy corn. We've been noticing a lot of tractors around in our area uh, putting field corn in. Weather's looking pretty good the next couple weeks here. Usually the second, third week of May is when a lot of the farmers start putting in their field corn. Definitely not sweet corn, but field corn. And we decided, why not? We'll get that stuff in there. I know the Danny corn variety is a little bit of a longer than what most field corn is that's put in out here. So we got that in and I'm excited to see how that kicks off as well. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one and thanks for watching.